it's CJ. Did you know that when you have your anatomy scan at 18 to 22 weeks of your pregnancy, not only is the ultrasonographer looking over your baby head to toe, but they're also taking a really good look at your placenta, see where it's located. They're going to look at that umbilical cord to make sure that it has two arteries and one vein. And finally, they're going to check to see where that umbilical cord is inserted into your placenta. There are five possible insertion sites, which I will tell you about today, and I will also let you know how it can affect your pregnancy. The placenta is an organ that is attached to the inside of your uterus. Its job is to provide nutrients for the baby throughout the entire pregnancy. The umbilical cord is what attaches the baby to the placenta. Again, there are five possible insertion sites, and they are as follows. Number one, central insertion. The cord goes right into the middle of the placenta. That is the most common, and it is completely normal. Number two is eccentric insertion site. The cord isn't in the middle of the placenta, but it's more than two centimeters away from the edges. That is considered a variation of normal, and they don't usually do anything about that. Number three is marginal cord insertion, where the cord is located less than two centimeters away from the edge of the placenta. If you are carrying one baby, it happens in about 6% of pregnancies. If you are carrying more than one baby, it's actually fairly common occurring in 25% of pregnancies. These babies are at increased risk for growth restriction, so typically they will do a growth scan sometime in the third trimester. If the baby is showing any signs of growth restriction, they will probably do weekly monitoring to make sure that the placenta is working okay. Number four is velamentous cord insertion. That is where the blood vessels to the cord attach to the placenta, but the cord itself is not attached. That happens in less than 1% of pregnancies. These babies are also at increased risk for growth restriction, and these moms are at increased risk for bleeding. Typically, they will start doing growth scans every four to six weeks in the third trimester, and they will do weekly monitoring starting at 36 weeks with either a non-stress test or a biophysical profile. It is usually recommended that these babies get delivered by their due date. And number five, vasoprevia. That is a condition that the cord may or may not be inserted into the placenta and the blood vessels of the cord are down in the vicinity of the cervix. Thankfully, this is really, really rare, occurring in less than one in 2,500 births. However, these babies are at risk for growth restriction and these moms are at extreme risk for bleeding. So if you are diagnosed with a vasa previa, they will probably recommend that you have growth scans every four to six weeks in the third trimester, and you will be monitored probably twice a week with non-stress tests, biophysical profiles. Generally, it is recommended that these babies get delivered via C-section between 34 and 37 weeks gestation. So what questions do you have about irregular cord insertions? I hope you'll leave those in the comment section below. And while you're in that comment section, I sure would appreciate it if you'd hit the like button and even feel free to share this video. Hello, it's CJ. Thank you so much for watching the entire video. I truly do hope that the information has been helpful. When I make these videos, it is not meant to replace a visit with your healthcare provider. Rather, my hope is after watching my video, you know what questions to ask your provider at your next visit to best meet your own healthcare needs. In the meantime, if there's any questions that I can answer, I hope you'll reach out to me. And finally, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you did that. That's all I have for today. This is CJ and I am at your cervix.